so hi everyone today we will be discussing about the ui version of autogen that is autogen studio which is looking quite promising very very easy to use and doesn't require you to code anything so i hope that you are already aware of autogen that it is a multi-agent orchestration framework where you can create multiple agents for completing a task using generative ai and eventually it expertises in executing codes and generating codes but right now in this demonstration i won't be showing you code generation but a basic demonstration on how to set up autogen studio so first of all you need to pip3 install autogen studio uh, you can google the command eventually once you have pip installed it you need to run this particular command autogen studio space ui so once you run this you can see that you get a local host address where this particular app has been deployed now you can see that the port number is 8081 where we can see this particular ui now uh, to first of all to get started when there are multiple options that uh, autogen studio has given you the most important one let's get started with the models first where you need to provide a model which model are you going to use so in this case i am using a locally hosted llm tiny llama using olama so basically how to do that for that you need to create a proxy server for your local llm that i have covered in my previous video on how to create a proxy server using light llm you can check out once you have created your proxy llm there are multiple things to note you need to give it a name then an api key api key is nothing if you're using a local llm do remember that you can mention nothing but it's it's like a gibberish text you can give then here you need to provide the proxy server address and then a name that's it once you save it the model gets saved here once you have saved the model you need to go to agents and create a sample agent now in the sample agent there are multiple specifications that you can give name description maximum consecutive replies so for now i've set it up to one because i'm using a local llm and eventually the inferencing is quite slow that is i'm kept keeping it to one just for demonstration purpose auto reply human mode on i think you need to know autogen before jumping onto this for that you can refer back to my previous video on autogen the most important part here is selecting the model i am using the local model that i have created for olama if you have a gpt4 api you can use that also the apis can also be used a temperature and skill cells are custom functions that you can add i'm not jumping onto it for now once done you need to go to workflow where a default agent workflow would be present between the user proxy and the primary assistant i hope that you understand the basic concepts of autogen before jumping onto this video where user proxy is a proxy for the user input like me the programmer which can be automated and the best part is it can execute codes generated by the assistant uh, primary assistant agent so here you can see that again if you click you can provide multiple options here also system messages their model skills maximum consecutive replies all the say all the things similar to autogen the most important part is you need to mention the model here also uh, if you forget by default autogen studio goes to gpt4 and eventually if you don't provide your api key it will fail similarly here also these are multiple options present for the primary agent of autogen studio i am here also I'm selecting the local model and eventually we're just saving it out this creates a workflow for us default workflow this is the name it skills are custom functions that you can add i haven't added anything here you can see that it will show you an example this is basically python code that you can add and eventually it can be used with one of the agents that i'm not going once you have created your model the agent and the workflow you need to go to playground and create a new session which is nothing but it will select a default uh, workflows that you have defined one of the workflows can be selected in this case i have selected the default workflow that i have already mentioned and by using uh, by as a user i'm asking it a question what is the capital of india now here you can see that it is able to interact with the agent i am the capital of india is new delhi it is able to reply generating us some notebook also i think there are multiple settings that i haven't checked out uh, for now but this is how you can set up autogen studio by first pip installing uh, autogen studio specifically uh, then autogen studio space ui 
then if you don't have an API key, create a proxy server using Olama or your local LLM and then create the model, the agent, the workflow here and then get started in the playground. The UI looks quite promising, quite useful and looks great if you are a non-coder. Hope you like it and you try using it. Thank you. So hi everyone. My new book, Lanchin in Your Pocket, Beginner's Guide to Building Gen A Applications Using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash 3 on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Thank you.